guys. So in this lesson, today I will teach the class seven subject mathematics. My chapter is two, and topic is fraction and decimal. We have two concept in this chapter. One is fraction, and the second part will move to the concept of a decimal. So in this concept, all this uh, this comprises two video. That means. Fraction and the decimals. We will have two videos. In the first video, I will teach what is the fraction and what are its properties and how the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and the division of a fraction we can do. I will show. So in the second video, I will move to the decimal terms. So welcome to the first part of the video that is the fractions only. So as all we know that in the previous classes, the fraction is a Part of a whole. That means what? If I will make a whole thing in equal part, if I am picking any one part, that is the fraction. So look at the blackboard. I draw two pictures here. I made a circle divided into four equal part. I shaded the one part that equals to one by five. That means this is a part of a whole. So fraction is nothing but it is a part of whole. Two types of a fraction. One is a proper fraction, another is improper fraction. So, what do you understand by proper fraction? We already read. We already read. So, this concept in the previous classes must be just one time revision. So, proper fraction are the fraction in which the fraction will be of two things. So, fraction has the two important components. One is the numerator, another is the denominator. So, in the proper fraction, what happened? In the proper fraction. The numerator is less than denominator. For example, three upon six. Look at this fraction. It is a fraction where three is the numerator and six is the denominator, and three is less than six. So, type of a fraction is known as proper fraction. Please remember the value of a proper fraction is in between zero to one. While coming to the improper fraction, it is a combination of a whole and proper fraction. What do you understand by that? Or simply, if the fraction with the numerator is greater than denominator, so in proper fraction, that is the numerator is less than denominator. In improper fraction, the numerator is greater than denominator. For example, seven upon three, hundred upon ninety-one, etc. So what we read till now? We read what is fraction? That is a part of a whole. Two types of a fraction: proper fraction and improper fraction. The fraction whose numerator is less than denominator is a proper fraction, and the fraction whose numerator is greater than denominator is called improper fraction. In improper fraction, we are getting two part. One is a whole part, another is a proper fraction part. For example, seven upon three. If you turn into the mix, you will get a two whole, one upon three. See here, this is a whole part, and this is a proper fraction. So improper fraction, it is a combination of whole part plus proper fraction. So in this chapter, what will you read? Will you read the mathematical operation of a fraction? Means what? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of fraction. So I will explain one by one. Regarding addition of a fraction, for example, what we are doing? One upon three plus five upon seven. In previously, what we did? Now we did. We are making the denominator equal, then adding in the junior classes. But what we will do now? We have to make it equal by taking the LCM. Means what? The LCM means lowest common multiple of three and seven is twenty-one. Step one. Take LCM of denominator that means the lcm of 3 and 7 is 21 step 2 divide then multiply 
That means this LCM, let's go from a multiple of 3 and 7, should be divided by 3. The part percent is coming should be multiplied by 1. So similarly, 21 multiplied divided by 3, I'm getting 7. So that I will multiply with the numerator. In same fashion, the 31 divided by 7, that is 3, it should be multiplied with the 5. So my answer is 7 plus 15, that equals to 21. So here my answer is 22 by 21, turn into the mix and give your answer. That is 141 by 21. So in the addition, again one time divisor will do. Means, when the two fractions are given, first take the LCM of a pair denominator, then what answer is coming? Divided by the first denominator, the quotient is multiplied with the numerator. In the same, divided by second denominator, multiplied by the numerator. Then addition and the subtraction of what the mathematical operation is given, that one you have to do. Another example of addition. It is a mixed fraction. For example, 2 whole 1 upon 3 added by 3 whole 1 by 5. First term into improper. We know how to do this one. 3 to the 6 plus 1 7 upon 3 plus 15 plus 1 16 upon 5. Now same. Take the LCM of 3 and 5. That is equal to 15. Divide, multiply. 7 into 5. Divide, multiply. 16 into 3, 35 plus 48 by 15, 380 by 15, again turn into the mix, 5 are 75, 8 upon 15, this is your answer. So similarly, we can do a subtraction also, means this is how to add two fractions or three fractions like this. So another example of a subtraction, 1 upon 2 minus 3 upon 5. Or 2 upon 5, 1 upon 2. Similarly, take the LCM, 2 and 5 LCM is 10, divide, multiply, so 1 into 5 minus but divide and multiply 2 by 2. So 5 minus 4 by 10, your answer is 1 by 10. So another next one. 1 whole 1 by 7 minus 5 upon 4. First next. Improper, 8 upon 7 minus 5 upon 14. Again, same, LCM of 7 and 14. 14, divide, multiply. 8 multiplied by 2 minus 5 multiplied by 1. 16 minus 5 upon 14, your answer is 11. So this is how a two fraction can be added and subtracted. In the next concept, I will show how the two fractions or more than two fractions can be multiplied. The multiplication of the two fractions. Now multiplication. Example. 5 upon 7 multiplied by 2 upon 3. So in the multiply, you should not take the LCM of a denominator. You just directly multiply numerator with the numerator, denominator with the denominator. That means I will multiply 5 multiplied by 2 upon 7 divided by 3. My answer is 10 by 21. Another example. 1 whole 2 upon 3 multiplied 4 whole 1 upon 7. First, make it improper. That is 5 by 3 multiply 29 upon 7. Now, multiply, multiply. 5 multiplied by 29 upon 3 multiplied by 7. 
Now multiply 145 by 21. Now make it simple mixed and give your answer. 6 is 126, then 19 by 20. This is your answer. So what is the next part is what is the division of two fractions? Divide. Example. How to divide two fractions? One upon two divided three upon four. So in the division, just look at carefully. So what we should do? The division is not there in fraction. We have to little change our sign. Now see how I'm doing? One upon two. I changed this mathematical operation which division I converted into the fraction. And what I have to do, the second fraction will be reciprocate, means ulta. That means 4 will go up and 3 will come down. Then multiply. How you are multiplying? That means 1 multiplied by 4 divided by 2 multiplied by 3. 4 upon 6. If you are to write with reduced form in simplest form, then you can write your answer. So remember, in a division, what you have to do? This sign you cannot do. You have to make this sign as a multiplier. Don't reciprocate the first fraction. The second fraction will be reciprocate. This first fraction will be constant. This division sign will be converted to multiply sign. The second fraction will be reciprocate. Means 3 upon 4 becomes 4 upon 10. 3. Now the normal multiplication how we are doing. Numerator with the numerator, denominator with the denominator. So this is how we did the division of two fractions. So sometimes, like this one question will come, how to solve I'm showing. Find 1 upon 2 of this one C of 100. How to find that? So please remember, this of means multiplication. Of means multiplication. So convert that one. 1 upon 2 of multiply sign, then 100. Now that means 100. Similarly, numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. So 100 upon 2, now reduce and write your answer. Your answer is so another example of off map. Find 1 by 2 of 1 hour. So this one we know how to find out. This I converted as multiply. So this 1 hour, if possible, convert into the minute. That means 60 minutes. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. Then 1 2 into 1 60 by 2 that is your answer 30 minutes. So like this we can solve the off map. So I hope you understood my concept. Now one time revision. What you read today? We read my topics means the lesson 2, the chapter name is fraction and the decimal. We, we read about only this fraction part, means this, this, there are two videos. In the first video you are getting the concept of a fraction. We read what is a fraction, types of a fraction, addition, subtraction, multiplication and the division with the concept of of. I hope you understood this video. Stay safe and stay at home.